So what is it, do you think, about us in English Canada that we allow this to happen, whereas I presume you don't think this happens in Quebec? Well, because both of those do have a... Um, What's the difference between us in English Canada and the Quebecers in French Canada? That they well, I, I, everybody wants to say they speak French, they've got this, but everybody speaks English, right? So yeah. everybody, but again, they have a need, because of their history in this country, to say who they are, both politically socially and economically, as well as culturally. And uh, the other group is the Aboriginal people, who also, who have been, people have tried to kill them, people have tried to assimilate them, so they too need to define and keep defining who they are, otherwise they will disappear. So both of them will. We in English Canada, <laughs> yeah, go, we want to disappear. We want to disappear as English Canadians, it seemed to me, in my, in my four o'clock in the morning. I go, God, how, how can this happen? Now, again, we're talking about degrees of it. We're talking about who gets it in different times of it. We simply, under globalization, have to be, and are living at a time right now where the predominant one is, yeah, go to America. And you can't be subjected over and over and over to that model, where so you have an audience that doesn't consider that cultural product foreign to them, it's like ordinary, without that starting to take a toll. Toll how? No post office. We aren't Canadians. <laughs> well, again, that the kind of idea of a country gets broken down. I mean, we're now living where provinces compete against each other. We don't, we, and I say post office because the post office is a federal you know, that was the Canadian flag, was that public building in every town, hamlet, and community that's gone. National Airlines. The whole idea of having a country. And again, in English Canada, who do we criticize the most? French Canadians and Aboriginal people. They don't get the business model of it. They don't get this. They don't get that. And again, that's not everyone saying that. In fact, you might argue that two-thirds of the country don't believe that. But because of our system and because it's worked out, that's what's the message, and that's what's being changed because of that. And but to go a little bit off topic, because it, it is, you know... Not if, me, not off topic. <laughs> no, never, you're never off topic. But in terms of, if, if th we have a little bit of a, a federal disintegration about who we are as Canadians, it, this is, I think this is what you're referring to, our generation was critical of the Americans. We like the Americans, they're our parents, but we, we were criticized at times for criticizing the Americans. The gen my children's generation are ten times more critical and alien to the American way of government, of running themselves, of relating to themselves. I didn't plant that, and I'm surprised in their rejection of American points of view. But again, I don't think because I'm talking about pro-Canadian that my even tangential criticism of America is of any importance. I'm simply like any citizen in the world that goes, Jesus, what's wrong with those people? I mean, again, and what I, what I don't want in my own country is Canadians saying, this is a good idea, we should live like they do. We should have the same kind of society. We should have that. That's a different matter, because this is my home. I, and I, the Americans can live whatever way they want. It's their country, they can do that. I, I mean, and I have a right to have an opinion about it. But, I mean, a lot of the times when I talk about Canadian culture, I get hammered with, you know, you're just being anti-American. And I want to go back, no, I'm not being anti-American. You're being anti-Canadian. Uh. And that's, it's a very, you know, and, and again, I'm saying you're full of self-loathing. You've got this colonial mindset so that we can't say anything about these kind of things without being accused of, in some way, being critical of the Americans or not, not wanting to be there. But again, then you're, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're actually confronting somebody with their idea that they don't like their own reality and they think they have a special part in the bigger empire called America. Now, we but don't in a way, that's part. what our generation tried to have a small say in changing in the 70s but it wasn't by yet making one. all the collectives by saying it has to be Canadian. We want Canadian stories, we want Canadian television, we want Canadian and, writers. And I would like to say too that it wasn't just us. It was Pierre Elliott Trudeau. It was the you know the Just Society. It it was culturally. It was economically. It was societally. It was Canadian was beautiful. We have things to be proud of. We can't, and it's not even being proud of. And again, it's not about pride. So it's about subject matter. 
who am I talking about? It's just about the subject of it. But did that last? Did it's we still think? there. It's still there. It may not be apparent, and there may not be funding for it, but again, or, you know, all the, there may not be an economy for it, put it that way. There certainly is, and there's very little economy for any, and when we're talking film and television, of course. And I think that theaters, from the little information I get now, also have boards now that want the big hits. They want the Wizard of Oz and bring the people in. So the economy for the kind of work that I'm talking about, we may be at a very low time and it may be disappearing. But I, as an artist, can go, as we were talking earlier, let's become amateurs then. I'm not going to be predicated or shut up simply because the, that, you know, uh, James Moore doesn't want to give me any money for doing what I want to do, or that my board doesn't. I mean, it's easy for me to say because I'm at the end of my career, mm -hmm. and I'm not just starting out. But the young people I see still, you know, they're going to do it one way or the other, and they're still going to try and do it with their own expression. They see it, they see it in a different way I do. I mean, I mean I, I'm getting on really shaky ground here because I still have my old dinosaur uh, remedies for it that, that you know, there's no traction in those ideas or those, even those words anymore. 